Yeah. All right. Today uh, we have uh, Daniel and Joelle Mesa, who have agreed to be our special guest today. They said that they wanted to do Mexico, and I was actually really glad uh, and excited to do this one, as I've only been to uh, a border town of Mexico, uh, which would be Matamoros, and then I have been to Cozumel. I really don't feel like I was actually Mexico, Mexico. So, uh, Daniel, why did you choose to pick Mexico? Because uh, I've been there a lot, like, a lot. Like, I used to, like every year I go there. Every every year y'all go there? Yeah, my all my grandparents live there, so. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Um, so, I pull up their picture right there, and it was just a guess, and I think I was right. But right here, is that you, Daniel, <laughs> right here? Yes, sir. Yes, and that's yes, Joel, sir. and that is their brother, Jesus, right there. Um, how is Jesus doing? No, he's good. He's here. Is he back uh, at the house now? Yeah, he's doing college work here online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he going to come and join our Zoom today? Uh, I think he's busy, so. Oh, no, he's too, he's so, so cool for us. All right, all right. <laughs> cool college kid. Uh, he went to Stanford, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, so he's having to do his uh, second semester uh, from Kyle, his Texas. third semester. His third semester. It's, it's there's three quarters. Oh, they do three right. quarters. Yeah, over there. Yeah. All right, and I unmuted Joel. Good morning, Joel. Good morning. All right, <laughs> how are you today, sir? Good. All right, I can kind of barely hear you. Um, if you can get closer to your microphone or wherever you have that, that would be better. Uh, is it better now? Yeah, a little bit. All right, so I kind of pulled up um, Google Maps, right? And do you have any places that you wanted to visit first? Uh, we can start with where I go, usually when we go to Mexico. Okay. Uh, it's called Taltenango uh, Sanchez Roman. Okay, well, do you have uh, any idea how to spell that for us? Yes. T-L- a T E N A N G O Yeah, it's right there. It's that one. This one right here? The, 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 one. That one right there? No, the top one. Is this not it? No, it's Saka Pickens. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Uh, Zaka that one, that yes, one right that here? One. Yes. All right. So well, that's a pretty crazy word. How do you say that again? That the All right. Well, I don't know where you are at right now because your video is not on, but you, you're really echoey and far away from the microphone. If you're using the headphones, kind of make sure that uh, your microphone is close to your mouth so we can hear you all clearly. All right. Um, so, this looks kind of cool. What about this place that you, what is it that you wanted to share? Uh, well, uh, this is like where both of my parents were born. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like a very big tourist place, but uh, it's really cool for, for what I think. Okay. Is there anything, um, look at those. What are those? Looks good, whatever it is. <laughs> Look, at it. it has like a dinosaur on this one. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so like, yeah. Ooh, that's a really nice picture right there. Let's click on that one. All right. So, uh, looks like there's mountains around there. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. So, can you tell us anytime what what kind of what kind of things do you guys do when you go down here to uh, this part of Mexico? Um, we uh we just visit we visit our grandparents and then we just like go hang around in the town, like go to like restaurants. And, like, yeah, okay. yeah. I just like get some town. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna kind of zoom out a little bit. Um, this looks like how far away from us. 
that's like pretty good. That, that is a long drive from Kyle, yeah, Texas, like sir. Twelve or like thirteen. All right, let's let's get directions from there. All right, so we'll choose Cobb, uh, top of middle school. All right, and we'll get directions and see how long it takes. All right, so if by uh, driving, it looks like it gives us a couple different routes. You gotta go through Laredo and then Monterey through Zacatecas. All right, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that, put it on there. It's pretty neat. So do you guys drive that all in one day or do y'all stop somewhere? No, all one day. All in one day? Yeah. That's pretty hardcore, man. Like Yeah. <laughs> so what do you yeah, start early? Usually... You start at night? Do you start in the morning? When do you start? No, we start like at three in the morning, we'll leave. And uh -huh. then we'll get there like in the evening. Maybe around five, six. Yeah. Okay, so is that whenever you're driving, you know, I kind of always had a question like, um, like how safe do you guys feel when you're driving down there? I'm not, not safe, but like, uh, you know, you just have to hope nothing bad happens. You just have to like go through it. Is there certain spots that you avoid because uh, you don't feel safe? Yeah, sometimes like, uh, like, you know, we pass through uh, Laredo. Or, mm -hmm. yeah 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 we'll just like we'll go around because we don't want to go up in the middle over there so you don't uh, go through laredo y'all go through around one of these yeah and then we'll just take the road back in and then we'll go all the way in is that is it because that's something you might have experienced in the past or just something that you no just it's know just about? that from what people say that's there like uh sometimes they'll like Jump you or <laughs> like ask for rides or something like that. Ask for rides. Oh, Miss yeah. Glidewell's in the house. I'm gonna unmute you, Miss Glidewell. How are you doing, Miss Glidewell? I see spirit fingers. I guess. Are you there, Miss Glidewell? Okay. Possibly, maybe. Let me see. I one more time. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. you are. All right. So Hi. just a uh, quick uh, something. If you mute yourself, I'll have to unmute you. Everybody's muted until I unmute them. So you're more than welcome to chime in, Ms. Gladwell. Thank you this for joining us today. Yes, this is pretty awesome. So it, it has been pretty fun. Not going to lie. Um, I like learning about new places and things like that. So, all right, Mr. Mesa. Um, Let's go back to our our little map. All right, let's go back here. So what is it about this town that you would like to maybe bring up, uh, Daniel or Joel? Uh, there's like the statue of Jesus there. Okay. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like, hold up. Uh, let me ask my mom, she knows. All right, look at these. That's kind of cool. It's like a museum or something. Museo Tlatanapa. I try saying that five times fast. Anybody? No? Um, once again, I'm talking to myself again. All right, good times. Um, if anybody would like to join in on today's conversation, you are more than welcome to raise your hand digitally and I will click on you that way. You don't have to just listen to poor old Mr. Coach D talk to himself. He prefers to talk to people instead of himself. But you know what? Sometimes when you need expert advice, you have to talk to yourself, right? All right. And um, we'll continue that conversation. All right. So what else we got? Daniel, uh, Daniel Joel, anything? Uh, there's a restaurant. Uh, it's called... Yeah, I forgot the name, too. <laughs> you guys are not good tour guides. Y'all were just like, hey, let's just go to Mexico. All right. No, well, no, but I, I know, I know the, the road guy. to it. All right. Is it called Pollo El Dorito? No. Oh, and Joel's, uh, Joel's muted. Joel, well, Joel, sir, if you can't mute yourself. Otherwise, um, maybe possibly reasons. There we go. There's Joel. All right. Uh, 
What, mm, is this the statue you're talking about? Oh, it looks like a bridge. It was the first one, like the picture where it looks like the one in Brazil. Oh, okay. Um, do you know what that might be called? Cristo Rey, I think. Cristo Rey. All right. Looks looks like there's a primary school there. And what happens if we zoom in a little farther? All right. We have the college culture and restaurants. Okay. The torta tortelleria, body of Alto. Yeah, yeah uh, I think that one's like one of the best ones in there. So, uh, Mr. and Mr. Mesa, um, what are we looking for today? Uh, do you guys want to go to Guadalajara? I, you are the tour guides, so I'm really right, only so, clicking on where we're going. We're going right, to so Guadalajara? Yeah. On yeah. Guadalajara. So, funny story, not funny. But a uh, side note, my dad actually went to Guadalajara, and he yeah. brought me back a Mexican luchador mask. <laughs> yeah, they have them everywhere. I mean, I don't know. That's pretty cool for me. Like, as a kid, I really liked uh, watching wrestling a lot, and when Rey Mysterio would come on, that was, you know, pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, what about Guadalajara that you want to talk about? So, um, uh, there's a lot of cool places that you can go there. Uh, I think the cat, the cathedral was like one of the best places I went to. Okay, it was is, actually really nice. Is this the cathedral that I'm looking at right here? Yes, I think so. Yeah, okay. it's actually really nice when you go inside. It's like really nice. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and like it. Look at that. Um, yeah. And then there's like a, like the photo right there, like you can just go walking uh, and like see like the, see like the um, place where like, I think the governor lives. I don't know. Like the governor's mansion or something? No, not the, or like, or like, uh, like the capital, I guess you could say from Guadalajara. The capital of Jalisco. The capital of Jalisco in Guadalajara. Yeah. Well, you know. Guadalajara is in Jalisco, so yeah. Wow. That looks pretty cool. You know, that all this old architecture is all this Spanish architecture that was cre you know created the last yeah. 300, 400 years. Um, so, you know, you probably should have learned in sixth and seventh grade about the spanish french conquest mainly spanish of mexico which is where you get all of these churches from so when the spanish came over to conquer the aztecs and the mayans they brought with them their religion and wow that's really cool um and so a lot of the churches that you see were built around that time and oftentimes those churches were built on places that were like monuments already for um, people of Aztec Mayan culture. I guess Mayans were more South America, so Aztec culture. So they would take over these churches and they would build wherever their temples were. Um, they would put that, they would start their church. They would make it out of the same stones as before. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Great. All right. Here we go. We have um, we have Daniel's uncle. All right, Jesus. Um, right here. His wife, <laughs> Henrietta. They're being pulled across on a horse-drawn carriage. Yes. Uh -huh. um, there's also a Mercado de San Juan. Is this in the same place? Uh, yeah, it's like close by. No, it's not there, but like. It's there, it's there, yeah. Well, let's go you look at the Guadalajara have. Zoo. All right, how about that? That sounds kind of interesting. All right. The Zoological Guadalajara. Now, some yeah. of you may know, some of you might not know, Mr. Coach D is half Mexican, so he speaks very bad half Spanish. So he can say the words, but not necessarily know 
everything that he's saying. Like I can order some Mexican food really good. But then when people try talking to me in Spanish, I look at them and I'm just like, mas despacio, senors, which basically <laughs> means much slower, right? Look at that. This is part of the yeah, you can Yeah, you can feed like the giraffes. Uh, yeah, and yeah, you can just like, like it's like kind of like a safari, but it take you in like the zoo and like you can go around and see animals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and like there's even rhinos that are loose there. They have rhinos. There's a rhino yeah, they're, right they're, there. They're, yeah, they. <laughs> yeah. They also have like uh, a zipline thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, you go all over the zoo. Yeah. Now, I always mess this joke up, but I'm going to get it right today, all right? How do you tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, Joel? See you later. One sees you later. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> one will see you after a while, and the other one will see you later. Hi, Elizabeth. Were you going to say the joke? <laughs> I'm just going to say the, the way they eat babies. They eat just babies? Alligators eat, the, alligators eat them in an A and crocodiles eat them in a C. <laughs> what? Alligators eat them in the A and the crocodiles eat them in the C? Is that right? I guess I missed that one. All right. Ooh, tortoise. Those guys are cool. There's also like a aquarium there, kind of, in the zoo, but it's like small though. It's a small aquarium. Yeah, but it's it's in there. And have you guys been there? Yes, I, I went there this summer. And uh, what did you see while you were there? Uh, animals. Really, <laughs> really. That is, that is amazing, guys. You guys are the best guys I've ever yeah. had the experience of, of dealing with. As, as just a, fantastic. There's a place in the zoo where you can walk and like there's just monkeys. Or like you go inside a place where it's like monkey habitat and they're all loose. Uh-huh. Uh, and there's nothing like from you to them. Like no barrier or nothing. So you could actually uh Touch the monkeys? Is that what you're saying? No, you, you can't touch them, but like you can walk through walk through it and like see them. Ooh, found a picture of Coach D. All right, make sure to include that one in there. <laughs> I um uh, I don't know if you know this about Coach D, but he is very animal friendly and he loves going to the zoo and uh, he doesn't mind having pictures of himself being put on the internet right there. So, okay. Anything else with, ooh, those are, uh, those are gars. Isn't that, that's a gar right there. A big old pointed mouth. Yeah. Uh, ooh, found a picture of Miss Glidewell. How are you, Miss Glidewell? I'm going to unmute you. Miss Glidewell, um, I wanted to thank you for my amazing picture that you left in my room or on my door the other day. I know oh, yes. I, I had I knew that was you and I was like, that's pretty amazing. So uh, Miss Glidewell left me a love note on my door and it was amazing. <laughs> and that's all I will say about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This all right. this has been very fun. I have to go jump on my um my own office hours. All right. But thank you guys for letting me join you and this I mean that zoo is awesome and the architecture and structures in Guadalajara they're just beautiful well Miss Glidewell if you would like to combine your class and my class you're more than welcome to give them the details all right I will yeah definitely so Most definitely. thank you for joining catch you thank later you <laughs> bye all right bye. all right so we're going out of the zoo let's see what else we got around all right let's see in Guadalajara, I mean, you see, you kind of look around things, right? Like you see this big cross, right? So you know it's a church, you know this one's a church. Yeah. Right, but what else do we have around here? 
Museo uh, Magico, the Magic Museum. Is that what's going on here? Look at this. What? You guys been here? No. Well, you know what? Today, <laughs> and your own field trip, we are going on a museum. All right. We're going to go check it out. I'm going to try to go the next time I go. All right. See, so look at that. You didn't think you were going to learn something today? You learned something today. Just like for the last three years, you didn't think you were going to be learning much, but here you are still learning. <laughs> Dang it, Coach D. Why do you got to make it like that? No, I don't want to be here. All right. Let's see what we got in the magical. Oh, okay. Game. So that's one trompo. What's a trompo? Uh, it's like, um, what do you call those things in English? Uh, the blades, what, what are they? The, those spinning things. The little bay blades or something? Yeah, yeah, it's like that, but you tie it. Like I think, I rope, think they're called a top. It. Yeah, it's called a top. Most likely what you're talking about. A spinning top. Ooh, look, there's Joel's sister right there. <laughs> We're going to eventually find her. Um, you do have a sister, right? Two. You got two of them? And how old are they? Uh, 20s. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew we were going to find your family down here. <laughs> All right. That's enough of the top museum. All right. uh, we have the Hitlan. It's like a lake. Teotihuacan? No, the Hitlan. All right. Y'all going to have to spell it. So C. C. A. A. J J I I Cajitlan Jalisco. This one right here. Yes. That one. Right. What we got here? This is a lake. Yeah. It's like a huge lake. It's a huge lake. And have you guys yeah. been here before? Yeah, we went Yeah, there. we got on a we got on a little boat and they took us around there. Oh, well, that's cool. So, yeah. uh, explain to us what that might mean. I don't, let's say nobody's been there before. What, what would you tell them to go check out? So it's like a tourism place. So you like park somewhere and uh, you have to walk to the lake. Mm -hmm. But like while you're walking, it's like uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can like buy. There's a lot of food and there's a lot of like there's a lot of food, like a lot of food. I remember I saw frogs that were being roasted. <laughs> like, have you ever eaten frogs though? No. <laughs> oh, Lord. I mean, I don't know if you're uh, a veteran at the buffet like myself, but they, at the Chinese food buffet, a lot of times they will have frog legs there, and it is pretty amazing. <laughs> I've never yeah. tried it before. They, I mean, imagine what chicken wings taste like. That's about what you're dealing with. Look at, look at these guys. Yeah, so those are like the boats that we went on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about them. Do you do you do you good to go on any boats? Yeah, we did. Uh, you have to like pay though to get on them. <laughs> well, I mean, I, nobody's just signing up for free, right? To put you on their boat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and just take you around, and uh, yeah, and then uh, they have like a little. They have like restaurants there you can eat too. Okay. Yeah, but we didn't eat there because we were trying to explore more, and we didn't want to waste time eating. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like going to Disney World, right? And stopping somewhere and not not knowing uh, when you're gonna go on the next ride, so you don't really stop and eat. Yeah. Hey, there it is, man. There's there's uh who we got here? That's definitely Pedro on the right, and then it's probably <laughs> his uncle. That's Uncle Juan right there. Yeah, Pedro and Juan. There we go. <laughs> All right, check these out. These look like saints, right? Los tres reyes magos. Los tres what? Reyes, reyes magos. magos. So the three kings of Margos. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Hey man, look, I told you half Spanish. <laughs> half Spanish is what I'm working with. Uh you've heard the story, right, of uh when Jesus was born. Oh, the 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 three, the wise three men? kings. The three yeah, wise those, men? yeah, yeah. You can say yeah. Is that what that was those. supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah. The frankincense, myrrh, and gold guys. 
Yeah, I grew up Catholic. I went to Santa Cruz Catholic Church in Buda for a long time. So I definitely know all the stories of Christianity and read the Bible a lot. All right, so I'm kind of interested in this place. Let's go check out the Restaurant de Reyes de Calle Cajetitlan. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. I wonder what kind of food they serve here in Mexico. I love seafood. Mm. Man, look at those camarones right there, man. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. Do you like Just that kind of – you like that right there? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll eat it. Well, as my um, grandfather would say, it will – Make a turd. <laughs> fish. Lots of fish by the lake. Yeah. Hey. All right. So what other name? That is definitely Guadalupe right here. And her son. Um, hmm. What's his name? Chewy. Chewy. Yeah, that's definitely Chewy. Right. All right. Anything else around here? Go ahead and check out. We have um, a yeah. store, huh? Uh, Te Teresa La Cascada? That one sounds kind of cool. <laughs> this is still. Yeah. Mexican drinking beer. That looks cool right there. All right. Let's go ahead. Take a snapshot of that. See, that's the kind of Mexico I want to go to right there. Like uh, all the nice beaches and things like that. That's where I want to <laughs> go. All right. Um, let's put you over here in the zoo somewhere. Nobody will know the difference. Okay. All right. What else we got, guys? Uh, Taltepaque. Taltepaque? Yes. I'm just going to kind of look around real quick. Look at that lake, man. That's a cool lake. Yeah. Yeah. How far away is that from anything? It's down there, huh? Down there in Jalisco? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what's something that uh, people really don't know about Mexico is that Mexico has states, and a lot of people just don't understand that. <laughs> they don't. They just they don't get it. They just think Mexico is just one place. They don't know that you have Michoacan, Jalisco, Zacatecas, Durango, Sinaloa, Tamaulipas. <laughs> All right. So what was the place we were going again? Taltepaque, Jalisco. Oh. Don't make me spell it. I will. I will butcher it. What's up, Elizabeth? Uh, do they have State Farm? Do they have State Farm? Yes. Yes, Probably. they do. No, no. They have I McDonald's. Like see, Dairy I would Queen. like to see an office, a State Farm office. All right, let's look it up. <laughs> Mexico State Farm. <laughs> see what we got. State Farm has Brownsville, Del Rio. Let's see. Santa Teresa, Eagle Pass, Westlaco, those are all border towns. Except for maybe Santa Teresa. My good, good neighbors, State Farm is there. Oh, it looks it doesn't look like it goes into Mexico. It looks like it's in all these border towns right here along Texas. Look at this lady. She looks happy to be there, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, how do you spell that stuff again, guys? Uh, T. A L uh, Q Q Yeah uh, U This right here, Talquesa No, 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 it's a, no, no, no. Uh, it's an E And then uh, P A P-A, P-A. Don't you put a Q-A. <laughs> I can't speak. I can't hear you, man. It sounds like you're talking into a can or something. All right. Uh, 
It's tal de paque. So we forgot the T. Tao. Tao. Y'all are terrible te. spelling. T Tao. Te. Cape. Okay, uh, tal te. <laughs> okay. Uh, P. A. Uh, and then a Q. Then a U. Then a, yeah, hey, that. there it is. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a cool word. I can't ever say that again. All right. Yeah. So this is like a very nice place, uh, especially at night. It's pretty cool. Uh, we want to go eat there, and the food is pretty good. And they have a lot of like stuff there. Let's go ahead and put that into the slideshow today. All right, so besides food, anything else really of significance? Uh, they have mariachis. They have mariachis. Uh -huh. I, think, I think all of Mexico has mariachis, Mr. Mesa's. Uh, not everywhere, but yeah. Um, they, uh, what else do they have? All you hear about is right now is just the food there. Um, okay, once again, you need to pull the microphone from underneath your chin and put it in front of your mouth. You know. I mean, you're still talking like you're in a can. That's a cool picture right there. Mm hmm. I like the way that sounds. <coughs> tal te paque. Tal te pancakes? No, tal te paque. Pancakes. I like pancakes. They go good with syrup. <laughs> you, spelled, and, and you spelled it wrong. I didn't spell anything wrong. Yes, you did. How? No, you did. No, you did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Festival de Muertos. Can you tell us what the Festival de Muertos might be? They celebrate Dia de los Muertos. They have a play. They, uh, they like, so they go to the cemeteries usually and they'll like bring stuff that, uh, the people that are dead, uh, the, you could say the, the mm -hmm. people that are in the cemetery, you know, the dead, what mm -hmm. they used to like before, they'll take it to the cemetery. And they'll put it there, like what they liked to do when they were like, let's say they like to eat uh, enchiladas. Well, you bring them enchiladas. And I mean, I like eating enchiladas, but I don't think I'll be enjoying them when I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they say that like sometimes the people who can't afford to eat will like really like the Day of the Dead because they can just go and get food <laughs> for free. Yeah. Yeah, like. They'll go to the cemeteries and steal the food that was there. La Casa del Waffle. Man, the house of waffles. Man, that's where I want to go right there. You guys know how to make waffles? Uh, no. Uh, no? I mean, you know how to make pancakes? Uh, yeah, I kind of. All you got to do is put that in a waffle maker, and now you got <laughs> waffles, bro. That is <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. So is there anything about this area um, that else that we should know about? Let's kind of pull in to the maps itself. We have the Fracasamiento Revolución. Yeah, I don't think what that's there. What is that? Flowers? Looks like a church and a pool. That's very gothic style architecture right here. Um, they would they would use the, the Christians would use that kind of style of architecture to fear people and to being afraid of God. So they would believe in Jesus to go to church. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Where's the bird? It looks like 
it looks like a bird that got hit by a, a truck or something, right? And what's left over, you see it on the side of the road, or just a little bit of bird on the side. Just saying. And then uh, you could go to Mercado de San Juan. The Mercado de San Juan. All right, I'm going to put the bird over there. Is that in the same place? It's in Jalisco. Yeah, it's like close to the cathedral. All right. Cathedral. You know what? I'm really surprised with you guys. I'm really, really surprised. Why have we not gone to Azteca? To what? Azteca. It's in uh, Mexico City, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've never gone to Mexico City. I mean, like, it is where the Mexican soccer players play their soccer, right? Oh, El Estadio Azteca? Estadio Azteca. Oh, no, it's too far. See, this, I'm surprised you did not bring this up. Out of all the things you two soccer kids did not bring up, <laughs> you, you said nothing about Azteca. Why? Well, Why not? What's, so, what's, what's so cool about it? I mean, A, you two are soccer players. B, it is like a really famous stadium. Right. Yeah, it's the biggest in uh in Mexico. Right. Like, I would like to go to Azteca. That'd be really cool, man. Look at that. So, you guys have never been here? Nope. Not even been on the field and, and kicked the ball or nothing. Yeah, nope. You haven't even kicked any goals in for Mexico. Nope. Uh, in Mexico, yeah. But not here. Okay. Joel, you sound like you're talking out of. Uh, like it's underneath your neck. If you look at me, this is what you sound like. See, you put the microphone closer to your mouth so people can hear you, right? That way they can understand what you're saying. Daniel, I hear you perfectly. Your brother, I don't know, you might need to give him some lessons. What is this? Look at that. I mean, I guess they're building a stage or something. Maybe. Oh There's only 89 text messages going on in the group. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to look. Uh, if anybody here raises any questions, somebody tell me. Whoever's reading in that chat stuff, that'd be great. Awesome. Wonderful. Thanks. Built in 1966. All right. So, I don't know if you recognize this, but there is a feature you can do uh, right here like if you're looking at maps if you grab this guy sometimes you can put them places and it will give you a 3d view look at that wow that's a glitch in the matrix right there <laughs> All right. what happened to your head I, mean, I guess you're over here on this side huh that's pretty cool all right back out of this one Let's see if we can click on anybody else. All right, let's go over there. Just be like any part of the stadium, right behind the goal. Why do you think they took the nets down? Because someone's going to steal them. Some, no one's going to steal the nets. <laughs> and some people don't play in them. Silly. You're silly. Look at that. That's a camera right there. I would still play on them. All right, so here's a question for you two. All right, if you had the choice between playing for Mexico international team or the American national team, what would you play? Mexico. Joel? Oh, uh, Mexico too. Why is that? They're just better. Just because they're better? You don't want to make America better? Uh, uh, it's not – well – I don't think a player is going to change the game. What? Have you not ever met Ronaldo or Ronaldinho or Dude, well, <laughs> Messi? You don't think nobody has changed the game? One person not changed the game? Yeah, no, no, because they mean, play with Daniel? they play with they play with like the best players in the world. I mean, you don't think we don't play with the best players in the world? Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, Rude. it's my opinion. It's my opinion. It's all right. I'm 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 just giving you guys a hard time. 
Let me put that over there. Got a little, little oh, stadium over there. That's cool. Got a little Nike uh, Nike store right outside of Azteca. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool to go to, right? So, who's your favorite Mexican national player? Chucky Lusano. Junior De Los Santos? No, Chucky Lusano. Once again, still don't understand you. Chucky Lusano. Oh, not Chicharito? Uh, he's old now. Javier Hernandez? He plays with LA Galaxy in the MLS. Yeah. Is that cool? What, uh, what team would you like to eventually play for in, um, maybe in FIFA or MLS? In FIFA, like international, uh -huh. or Mexico. But what about like um, what about clubs? What club would you want to play for? I would like to play for Barcelona, but I don't know about that. Planta de Asfalto. What is this? Oh, it's like a, a skating park. That's cool. It's like, you can think it's like, like it's rain, so it looks all wet and shiny, but it's, it's pretty neat. Do you guys know how to skateboard? No. No. Me either. Oh, uh, we can go to Zacatecas. All right, let's go to Zacatecas. See, I know how to spell that one. Yeah. All right. So, what about Zacatecas? Do you, would you like to talk about? Uh, la mina de Eden. Blah, 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 blah. La mina, the mine. La mina el Eden. De no, la mina de Eden. That's what I was just saying. This guy right here. Yeah. All right. What do, what do we got here? Yeah. Oh, wow. so it's like a mine. It's like uh, okay. it's like a mine, and it's pretty cool because like you start in like the bottom of a mountain, uh huh, and like they take you underground under that mountain, and uh, you like yeah, and you like you're there under the mountain. Uh, another cool thing about it is like um, when the Spaniards were there, they used to have slaves that would like get all the gold in there. So it looks like uh, the Spanish would take the, the people, the natives, and make them work in these mines. Is that what I'm gathering? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it would be like, it would be very brutal because, uh, you know, I mean, you're in the dark and you could like easily just fall and break something or like pretty much die, you could say. Yeah. That's very true, sir. Um, have you guys been here before? Yeah, I went there this summer, too. <laughs> All right. You know the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite? Nope. Elizabeth, I know you're, you're raring to go. I see you raring to go, Elizabeth. I unmuted you. What you got? Uh, one's on the ground. The other's on the ceiling. All right. <laughs> how do you tell the difference between that? I can't remember which is which, but I know that that's the difference. Okay, so a stalactite hangs tight to the ceiling, and a stalagmite might reach the ceiling. Look at that. I oh. taught Elizabeth Neal something today. I feel, I feel accomplished. Top notch. Wow, look at that. Peligro means danger. I know that. Yes. Explosives. Oh man, look at that shrimp right there. It looks delicious. <laughs> uh, how do you say shrimp? Mariscos? Yeah. See? Told you, half Spanish. That's a turtle shell. See, turtle is tortuga. Yeah. Anything else I'm missing? Oh, here's Joel and Daniel right there. 
<laughs> We're gonna put y'all in the in the mix right there. <laughs> All right, that's kind of cool, man. All right, what else? Anything else for uh, the Nina uh, Eladine? No, but nah, not really. No, but nah. No, nope. you gotta go in there to see everything. Yeah, it? it's it's yeah. it's really cool. Oh wow, this looks like it's from uh, from outer space, huh? <laughs> That's cool. All right, so popping out of Zacatecas, El Edin. Let's go ahead, meander about in Zacatecas. Uh, um, Maceo Rafael Coronel. This no, one? La Serra de la Bufa. The, the roof of the house? No. no. Bufa. Bufa. La, la Serra de la, la Sierra oh, yeah. de yeah. la Rufa. Sierra de la Bufa. No, that's a la bufa, a B. It's bufa? B U F A. Bufa. This thing? No, it's a U. No, it's not that. It's an oh, it was a Zacatecas. Uh huh. See, this is why you're supposed to put these things on the slideshow ahead of time. I sent this to you guys. Y'all are just making. Hold up. Oh, wait, let me go. Lots on. of fun, guys. Lots of fun. Great. Wait, we were supposed to do that? Yeah, I emailed you. You did? Yeah, I did. I didn't get the email. Yeah, you probably didn't check it. No, I did check it. Mm hmm. Oh, let me put it on there right now. Well, you can just search up uh, Bufa Hill. That's, that's how I found it. Oh, ah, see? See, why couldn't you just say that? It's Bufa Hill. <clears throat> All right, what is this? It's like, uh, it's, I think, uh, Pancho Villa. Uh, like, they had a big war there, you could say. Uh, I think that's, like, part of where the revolution ended. A revolution? Revolution? Yes. Anything else besides that? Let's see. Looks like it has a little gondola. Uh, is that Pancho? Is that Pancho Villa right there? Uh, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see the mustache though. I don't see a mustache. All right, that's very true. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like you have an iron cross right there. That looks kind of cool. Uh, you can also go zip lining there. Yeah, that's cool. I think yeah. that uh, that would be really dangerous for Mr. Coach D, as <laughs> he would be like a very fat missile heading towards the earth. So he's probably going to pass on that one. Right, let's see what it says about Bufa Hill. An iconic hill with aerial cableway to the summit, site of 18th century chapel, museum, and monuments. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else with Bufa Hill? Let's see. There's a 360 view. Ooh, that right there at the top. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Man, look at that city. That was a gigantic city. Yeah. So I yeah, just you guys have been here before. What? Uh, yes. And, yeah, I've uh, been here before. Did you climb this to the top? Uh, I was, but we were. I think we were. We wanted to eat, so we went to go eat. So you went over here to uh, this little restaurant over here where they have little baños and Coca-Cola? Yeah, exactly there. We went exactly there. Did you really? Yes. And did you use the baño and drink a Coca-Cola? <laughs> uh, no. No. 
We just ate. We ate too hungry. Wow. Pretty There's cool. also a museum there, which is pretty cool, too. Is that what this is right here? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I've never heard of this before. Bufa Hill. All right. Okay, we got about 10 more minutes. Anything else that you would like to talk about before uh, we run out of time? Uh, well, uh, no, there's this nothing really, like, no, I don't think so. All right. So what I like to do is uh, look at pictures of Buzz McKenzie over there behind Elizabeth. But... Um, Oh, coach, you want to see where we live? Or like where? Sure. Uh, yeah. uh, it was like the first place, Platanango. In Durango? No, Platanango. No. Platanango. The, it, was it was the, the first, first place, place we went to. This guy? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. First one. All right. So we are here. Now what? If you go to uh, the that road, like where San Juan is, the road that's going up, if you can put like little guy on there. So right around here? No, like the 23, the road that's 23. I see. Yeah, I see Highway 23. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you put the little guy there? All right. I will try. Usually it has you zoom in a little bit farther before you can do that. All right. We are on the highway. Cruising down the highway. Da -na -na -da -na -na -na. Yeah, you can go forward. I mean, we could go down this road for a long time, guys. No, we're, we're not. You, you can just go. Like, just keep going. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Time traveling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the left. Um, you know La Llorona? Yep. Yeah, they, they say that she comes out somewhere over there. Over yeah. here? Yeah, it's somewhere over there, but I don't believe so. so. All right, fair enough. We're moving still? Yes. yes. He's going straight. Guys, we can easily follow this road like this, okay? Yeah, but I want to know which one my house could so. Actually, no, just keep going. No, we already passed it, I think. Yeah, we did, we did. Salo para eventos? That far? <laughs> no, it's not that one. Come. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, um, if you keep want to go a little bit forward again. Guys, you know, there's this thing, it's called an address. And if you can memorize an address, it's a lot easier to find. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the address. Yeah. So I'm going to stop that there because we could do that forever. But what I like doing is I, I like coming over here to Mexico and I like coming along the little border towns, right? And one of the little border towns I like checking out is Cabo San Lucas. You've been there before? No, I've, I've been here virtually lots of times, right? Oh. Look, at this, look at this area, right? It's, it's beautiful, right? So I'm going to put Cabo. This would be one place that I, I'm going to visit before I die, right? So I'm going to put that down here. I would love to go to Cabo San Lucas. You know, they call it the end of the world, right? Because uh, it where it's located geography, right? If you look at it right here, like it's the very tip of this, um, what is it? It's the Baja Peninsula, right? So if Mexico goes all the way over here and this starts California, Nevada, Arizona, right? But it's at this very southernmost tip of this <clears throat> piece of Mexico. And, you know, it's, it has a really cool place, man. I, I really want to check it out. That's pretty neat. See? I'm gonna go there. Oh, That's, you should go there. It's the same picture. Okay. Well, I'm going to. But I uh 
I need you guys to set up a GoFundMe for Coach D. Okay, can you help me out? I'm just kidding, guys. Calm down. Look at that. That's like a golf course. Diamante Cabo is definitely a golf course. That's cool. Four rich people. Yep, pretty much. Let's see. No swimming. Why not? Oh, currents. How rude. It's cool. All right, so you can go down. When you start looking at these areas, right, I like going along this coastline and just kind of seeing if you can find somebody's really sweet house, right? <laughs> Like, look at that right there. What is this? See all these cool pools? What is this? Is this a hotel? It's definitely like a hotel. All right. Yeah, right here on the beach. See? See how awesome that is? All right. I want to go there. Elizabeth, you are live. It says it's a swimming pool. Well, can I go there? Can I go swim there? Uh, no, it's closed. Man, everything's closed. Yeah. Let's see, all right, now let's keep on going down the way, all right? Look at this person's house. That's somebody's house. What's this, what's this have to do here? La Dacha. See, I want to live there. Mm. That's what's up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Real. So whenever you guys are famous uh, Mexican soccer players, you guys, you know, you remember old Coach D and you hook it up, all right? All right. Bet. Fair, fair enough? Yes. All right. Well, I will let that be the end of today's meeting. I really appreciate it. Uh, you two, what is up with the chat? Oh, my God. What are y'all doing? I said 48. Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. <laughs> ah! All right. Well, all of you who came today, K Dog, Maya, Emily. I didn't get to say hi to Emily. Hello, Emily. Maxim, Alexander, Natalie, Alex, Diego, Darren. Hi, Emily. Good to see you. Hello. And Elizabeth, what is that guy in the background doing? What is going on? K Dog, how's everybody doing? I will allow you to unmute yourselves. Um, let's see. If you want to unmute yourself, say hi to Mr. Coach D. The last couple of minutes. I'll allow it. If you want to bounce out of here, you have a great day. What are y'all doing? Oh my God. Alex is what's happening to chat. What is happening to the chat? Uh, y'all are strange. Walter. We gotta, we gotta get it to open him up. Where is Walt? Where's Walt though? Oh no! A good question. You guys are crazy, man. But where's Waldo? Oh, we're gonna hit two hundred. Yes, we are. Y'all are so I'm strange. Gonna... Yeah. Okay, it's going crazy. There's only two more. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And dun, dun. stop. <laughs> no, no. no. I just pressed a bunch of random letters. Look at that cat. Beautiful. Is yeah, that... look how beautiful he is. Beautiful cat. <laughs> That's a nice looking cat. Beautiful cat. Beautiful. I go find right. cat. Well, thank you guys for showing up today. Appreciate you. Tomorrow, we will be back again. Same time, same place. Peace. Bye.